This is a public hearing by the Zoning Board of Appeals, Town of Granby. Representing the board are Bill Percival, Bob Lindire, Ann Crimmins, Wayne Chapel, and Suzanne Yuha. Will the secretary please read the legal notice of the meeting? There will be a public hearing conducted by the Zoning Board of Appeals on Tuesday, September 17th, 2019 at 7 o'clock p.m. in the Granby Town Hall meeting room, 15 North Granby Road, to hear the following item. Appeal by Fato Construction, agent for owner John Roger, seeking a side yard variance to section 5.1 and 8.1.3.2 of the zoning regulations to allow construction for a garage for property located at 4 Powder Mill Lane, file Z09-19-01. At the hearing, interested persons may appear and written communications will be received. A copy of the appeal is on file in the Office of the Director of Community Development, Granby Town Hall. All right, you have the minutes of the last meeting and are there any additions or corrections? Move to approve. Second. Okay. Second, all in favor? Aye. 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 Abstain. Oh. Abstain. Well, can't. Oh. You don't have to. Okay. So. <laughs> Here's how we operate. We hear the appeals in the order of the legal notice. You as applicants explain the application to the board, introducing any exhibits you feel will help us make a fair decision. Speakers can speak on behalf. Speakers can speak in opposition. The applicant may rebut the opposition. We as board members will of course ask questions. Speakers will please come to the podium, give their name and address before speaking. When we reach a decision, you will be notified by certified mail, usually within 10 days. Granting of a variance or appeal requires a yes vote of four members. And if we grant your variance, be sure to record it with the town clerk within 90 days. I also ask that any cell phones be muted and any beepers off. So uh, we have one application. How you doing? Dan Patel, Patel Construction, 30 Luma Street, North Granby. And uh, basically we're looking for a 22, 22 foot variance for uh, the garage, a three car garage to be built. For this on, this, on the side of his driveway where it used to be an existing uh, riding rink in that area for horses. And it's rear. It's, a it's, it's actually rear, it's on the plot plan is rear. That's the side of his driveway. The house faces. Yeah. So that's what I was wondering. It's, I saw. I sent pictures with that. The, but it's, it, technically, it's the rear lot. So. And can you uh, can you tell us about the hardship? Why it's, you're unable to place it in a place that conforms with the regulations? Well, because the, the, right now the existing there's a horse barn in the back. Well, on the, on the side. And he's got a pasture and fence, and we don't want to disturb that for the future for, for animals. And uh, that's the only place where there's no septic system. And well, actually, the well's over to the north side of it. So there's no, there's no utilities in that area in order to build, be a perfect spot to build it. And it's all sand and gravel right now. And, uh, How? Go ahead. How big is the, the pasture that you said you don't want to? The pasture's out towards the east side, back, rear, right? Yep. Yep. And uh, it's all around. Is, does it get wet back there? It is wet. It is wet. And the town has drainage just past that. There's a, a collection pond for the drainage for the development of the street. Can you do us a favor and identify yourself? Uh, I'm John Roger. And then the access for the garage would be right off. The, it'd be harder to get the garage out back for the driveway and all that to go around that far. For the garage right now, we can go off the existing driveway and not expose any more ground area. Anything from neighbors? No. Pro or con? Oh, you'll get a chance to speak actually later. 
No. I have one call from Carol. I can't think of her last name. She lives on Loomis, but she abuts his property. Mm -hmm. And she was asking me what I was doing. And she was all, okay, good. Then no problems. So the hardships are septic well. And, and is it, it, is it wet or is it pasture that we're trying to avoid slash preserve? Yeah, but a little bit of both. Okay. It's a little bit of both because there is because there is a lot of wood wetlands that comes through that area and it drains out towards the towards Loomis Street. That's where the pasture is, is towards the other side okay. of the house. Totally on the other end of the house on the other side. Now our um, director of community development said the wetlands has reviewed it and signed off. That's yep. basically why that happened is because it's so wet out there that uh, they yeah they they didn't see no issues with them with that area where we're trying to put this and you also and you have to go back to planning and zoning correct this mm -hmm. why is that i don't know why that is it's because of the height it's like 13 it's it's 13 feet high the wall is going to be 13 feet. it's a three-car garage mm -hmm. Okay. And I think it's a size it, issue, probably. It's, it's, it's over a square footage. Yeah. I think the minimum is 1,000 square feet okay. of the garage, and we're doing 1,200. Yeah. So. And now, I know this feet? isn't to scale, but how far is this barn going to be from the well? I mean, on this picture, it's very close, which I'm sure it's not, but... I'm just curious. Probably 40 feet. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then he's, he's got his, uh, his tractors. He's got old tractors that he wants to put in that garage. At the same time, like he, right now they're outside. Mm -hmm. So. Anything else? Yeah, so this is the this is the rear yard. Trying to make the company of the forest barn. It's already there. Oh yeah. Okay. Yes. So you this is a good photo. You have something to add about the horse barn? I was just trying to make compliment the horse bend barn that's already there. We didn't want to take away from the horse barn if we want to have horses, but we want to be able to store like farm tractor and all the implements and stuff and that that we used to take care of the property. Mm -hmm. Keep it out of the water. Right. Is this the driveway right here? Any more questions for right now? Um, um, there's no there's nothing above the garage. Just in front, so no, no room above it. It's just to be all over the side. Now we have, I think there are some pictures. That must be obviously the horse barn that you're talking about. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Aesthetically, it's gonna go well, very blend well with the house, the existing house, mm -hmm. and not affect the development that's there at all either. This is looking back at the street. Bring any other pictures or any other items? To no. <coughs> no. And you said no letters from any neighbors. I got nothing. Around. I just got that phone call, like I said, from the Carol. Okay. Just passed the development on the right. That's our house. Is it is it true that if you um, if you ran the shed parallel to the driveway all that way, you'd still need a variance? There's no place along the edge of the driveway where you wouldn't need a variance, right? No. That's yeah. It's basically where I'm putting it. It was, it was the best location to keep it away from the power, the power that's going to the house, and oh, we're keeping it away from the. We're not, not cutting down any trees. That's yep. all existing, right there, mm -hmm. and uh, you had fencing there. You took those down, sort of riding fence, right? Right. Well, they, the, the the previous owner had like uh, jumps. Yeah, the corral. The there was no fence around. There was no fence oh, around it, it when we bought it. But they yeah. made the sand and all that, the base. Right. When I, when I looked at the satellite image, there was a, it looked like the, the horse area we're talking about was off to, I don't know what direction it was, opposite the house from the, where you want to build the garage. Correct. 
Is that that's your land as well? Yes. Okay, and that's the that's what we're talking about—the corral or whatever that we. Yeah, want. I believe so. Yeah, it's a big sand lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Like a right. riding ring, what, and that's that's where we're talking about putting it more towards the horse barn than the street. So it's and, and, back. And you guys are using this for horses. You're not just preserving yeah, it for the no. We time. want to use we want to use the barn for the horses. Yeah. Okay. And that's why we need place to store the. You know, tractors and just equipment in general. So it's not all out in the open. Okay. All set for now. Okay. And do we have anybody that will speak for or Thank against? You. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Ma'am, did you want to speak for or against? Or? I have a question. Where does yeah. Excuse me. You have to come up to the oh. podium and yes. give your name and address. The whole town wants to hear what you have yes. to say. <laughs> Hi, my name is Helena Wisniewski, and I live on Loomis Street. I have a well that's, I guess, the closest well besides Carol's. And uh, I was concerned as to where this is going in relation to the barn. I don't have a clear idea of where you're putting the garage. Would you like to tell her? Yes, yeah, if, if you can sort of, if you have your applications. Can I have a picture of it? Yeah, I'll take a picture of it. Basically, here's the house. You know what the house looks like, right? Yes, I There's the barn. Yeah. Basically, right here. Nice. Okay. So it's just going like this, not disturbing the trees. I get you exactly. My concern was that you were putting it there. No, that's, that's why we do it. Right. Because it's, okay. yeah, it's septic systems over there. Okay. Okay. Your question then is answered favorably. Okay. Thank you. Now, the only other thing that we always ask, and nobody's asked it yet, is which way toward the back line do you have an overhang on the garage that's going to be, that wasn't factored into the distance that you need for the variance? The other way to ask that is that uh, like we don't, yeah. we don't yeah. measure the from direction. the footprint, we measure right. from the eaves. The, oh, the total area of the roof. Yeah, the, 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 um, the, the soffits are going to be about a foot. And are they included in the? Are they going to be in the bed? We could adjust it to that. I mean, I could go with that that 28 feet from the soffit. That's no big deal. Okay. Yeah. You have to because okay. you have to include yeah. gutters and things. Like we'll just, that. We can just consider that. It has that to be accounted for. Yeah. Okay. So no. I, we don't. If we grant this, we want to make sure we give you the okay. exact amount that you need. Correct. Unless you have to for a foot to come back. Okay. Yes. And you're saying you can move the shed, uh, the barn enough. You want to stay with the 28, and you're good with the... Go for it. Go for a bigger variance. All right. 23 foot variance? Yeah. yeah. That way we keep yeah. it the same? Mm -hmm. No, we do a whole yeah. over. Right. Yeah. Good. I don't, I, I'm not saying we're going to approve it, but it's not going to matter to us if it's 22 or 23. Okay. So let's do 23 foot. Mm -hmm. That'll keep that. Okay. All right. Um, any other questions regarding the hardship or obviously there's still another board that has to pass right. judgment to be granted, so um, nobody else that wants to speak for or against. So any other things you would like to add? I'm pretty good at this point. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, we don't consider what you put in the garage to move the equipment but it's where the garage is going to be situated and the hardship to the land I understand. so we, we understand your reasoning to you know what you want to do but uh, just right. so you know that's not a consideration so but given what you already told us it appears you know. mm -hmm. okay so what is it seven 14, 14 we'll close the public hearing <laughs> everyone is um Welcome to stay, but the only ones now who can speak will be uh, ZBA folks up here. Okay. So, but you're welcome to stay and listen. Okay. So, we're good. 
I consider the the preservation of the pasture a yeah. legitimate hardship. Yeah. You know, they bought the place to put horses on it, and then if they need a building, they're not and disturbing any of the no, and the well, the stuff floor and, and things like that, which electrical stuff, and basically just putting it up and mm -hmm. using it. to be any opposition. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with the preservation, though. That's oh cool. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. so um, sounds like we're all in agreement again. Yeah. All right, I move that we grant the appeal by the people at the place. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we take notes here, by the way, for those learning to take notes. Um, to allow construction for a garage for property located at. Um, the variance being, we agreed 23 feet, rear yard. Citing as hardships, the uh, the need to preserve the, are we calling it a corral? Is that what we said? Pasture? Pasture. Mm -hmm. Pasture. The location of the septic and the location of the well. Preservation of the tree. And preservation of the trees. Second. Okay, any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion granted five to nothing. Do we have any other business to come before the board? Do we have a motion to Move adjourn? To adjourn. Second. Second. Third. <laughs> okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 There. We're closed.